Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another service of God's Healing Stream Ministry. Father God, be with us. Speak to us. Speak through us. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Anoint us. Jesus, Jesus, we call on you. Holy Spirit, we call on you. Move upon us. Move through us. Bless the people. Let your word go forth. Your will be made known. Hallelujah. Strengthen your people. Raise them up for these last days days. Hallelujah. <laughs> Prepare your bride <laughs> even for the great billion soul harvest. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm, a I'm excited today because this is a not a regular message. It's a prophetic word, a prophetic word. Uh, you know, when the uh, Super Bowl uh, was played and uh, there were prophecies, uh, the outcome was the Kansas City Chiefs, they won. But there were some prophecies uh, uh, mentioned, and one in particular was uh, Bob Jones' prophecy years ago. He said that when the Chiefs win the Super Bowl, revival will come <laughs> and so uh, a lot of the latter day uh, latter day prophets brought this up uh, and uh, trying to de decipher uh, is this it is this it uh, and uh, i read those prophecies but uh, a lot of them were just saying well it is significant uh, the number 222 two, two, et etc cetera, etc cetera. but there was one by uh, Sean Boltz he said uh, that uh, he believed that uh, it, it, god was saying now is the time for the chiefs to arise. The chiefs to arise. The apostolic chiefs will arise. He believed that was the message. And, and I thought about that and oh, praise the Lord. Uh, God has been stirring up my heart. And I, uh, I, I just believe this. I agree with this. Uh, and I think what the Lord was doing and is doing is he's uh, raising up, stirring up those that are, have, have, have been called to have an impact on the body of Christ, on, on the world, it's time for them to arise and come forth. Now, w w one of the things I've, I've, I've felt about the, uh, the body of Christ over the years is, uh, in general, we have uh, just been pampering. It's like uh, uh, appealing to the lowest common denominator. So just to pamper the weak Christians, you know, pat them on the back and soothe them. Everything is to uh, make them not feel bad. All this and uh, the thing is, but we look at nature and in nature, it's like survival for the fittest. Only the strong will survive. The, 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 the species, uh, when it's time to mate, the strongest males will fight to see who will get to mate the female. So, so anyway, uh, it, all of nature uh, shows us this. Uh, for the species to go on, uh, the generations to continue to evolve and be stronger and stronger, the strongest have to, 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 to multiply. If you have a, 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 a weak male and he, he propagates, uh, then you're going to have weak generation. So th it's, th this is the same in the body of Christ. If we keep just pampering the weak, what kind of a church do we have? You know, uh, We've got to get uh, stronger, and the way is those who are called to be strong, let them be stronger. Uh, uh, help them, help them uh, develop to be stronger and stronger. So this is what I believe is uh, God was uh, saying, the chiefs, this is the time of the chiefs to arise. Hallelujah. And so one of the things uh, I saw was that, uh, you know, uh, what God has called us, you know, those who have an impact, it, it's to keep pushing. And one of the things God was uh, stirring me up was don't be stagnant. Don't be uh, uh, content. Just keep pushing. There's always more. 
Because if you get to a certain level and you coast and you think you've arrived, uh, then you're stagnating. And here's the thing, there are no, no limitations in God. One of the, uh, I was under uh, uh, Ruth Heflin for quite a while and uh, a great woman of God, she's passed on. Uh, she was one of those, had the, the gold dust phenomenon. Uh, anyway, one of her songs was, uh, No Limitations in the Spirit, No Limitations in the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. I love that song. And that's the thing. There are no limitations in God. So no matter where you are, keep pushing, keep pushing. You know, sometimes people pat you on the back, but that's, you know, to me, that's just a, 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 like molasses trying to keep you where you are. Uh, I need people to push me. And here's the thing. Uh, I, uh, Psalm 145, verse 3. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. That means infinite, unlimited. There's always something more, <laughs> something greater about God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let, let, look at John 3, 34. Jesus was sent to the earth to be a role model for man. That's why he called himself son of man. I'm to be a role model for you. I imitate me. And so John 3, 34. For he whom God has sent speaketh the words of God. For God giveth not the spirit by measure unto him. God did not give the spirit with limitations to Jesus. God gave the Spirit without limitations to Jesus. Wow, praise the Lord. So no matter how uh, deep we are in God, we can go deeper. No matter how much of an anointing we have from God, we can get more. And look, look at Isaiah 9, 7. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Wow, wow. He's God. The universe is constantly expanding, and God is saying the same with, with the Lord. His His government, uh, just His power, just increasing, increasing, increasing. Wow! And that's the way we should be. Have that mindset. There's more. There's more. There's more. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Hallelujah! 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 And you know, this is the thing. There's a lot of voices. A lot of voices are discouraging voices and and the whole thing is meant to keep us down but God said keep pushing there's a, a spirit that God wants to uh, 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 download to us it's that importunity spirit the persistent spirit like look at Elijah God spoke to after uh, he called down fire from heaven God spoke he he heard Elijah heard the sound of rain I hear rain God said it's going to be rain but it didn't happen right away Elijah had to pray so he prayed he prayed and he told his servant go 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 check Look up, look up at the, the, the clouds. Go over there and see if there's rain clouds. And the, the servants, I don't see anything. <laughs> but God told Elijah, but what next? Just keep praying. Keep, keep praying. Even if it hasn't come to pass, keep praying. So he prayed again. Same thing. I don't see a single rain cloud. Nothing. <laughs> and he prayed again. He, the same thing. It was like six times nothing 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 but what did he do he didn't give up he kept pushing he kept pushing finally the seventh time whoa i see a little cloud like the size of a man's hand that's it that's it so god is saying keep praying keep praying till uh, the promise comes to pass keep praying keep praying yes. till you arrive at the goal praise god praise god Hallelujah. I know. Praise God. You know, as we, uh, I'm telling you, as I even look over my life, I see a lot of, you know, bumps on the, along the road. And sometimes they could be discouraging. And sometimes the bumps are big. And it looks like, well, that's it. But God's saying, that's not it. It's not over. <laughs> it's not over till it's over. But it's not over yet. <laughs> Keep pushing. Keep pushing. And, you know, I realize, like, whatever, uh, it, it, like, mistakes that uh, a person has made in the past, it, 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 but in God, when there's a destiny to, to fulfill, it's like uh, like uh, 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 Thomas Edison. He did 
2,000 experiments till he finally hit on the light bulb. He, could, he invented the light bulb. But before that, he tried this thing. He tried that thing. It didn't work. He tried this thing. And so finally, the 2,000th time, that's it. The light bulb, he got the right formula. The right, right light bulb was invented. And he didn't, uh, 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 Thomas Edison didn't look back. Oh, well, I, 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 went over, I tried this, it didn't work. I, I tried that, it didn't work. He didn't relive the failures. In fact, all the failures got him to this point to where he succeeded. So the thing is, you know, it's whatever mistakes I made in the past, whatever detours that uh, wasted time, forget it. It's over. I'm at this point now. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> What's bad? What matters is you're at this point. Like uh, Edison, you found the formula. That's it. Now you got to multiply. <laughs> Form a company. <laughs> Shut up. I'll see you. And this is it. So we, we don't look back. Uh, uh, all the mistakes, It's regardless, we're at this point now. It's like God is really revealing what we need to do. And we have that mindset now that where we can apprehend, comprehend, and apprehend what we need to do. We can understand it now. I'm not, I got it now. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Shut up. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's why I'm excited about this. Uh, praise God. And uh, there's another thing. Is uh, I mean, God was giving me so many points. So the uh, first point was like, no, there's no limitations in God. You can get better and better. You can get stronger and stronger. Keep on pushing. Keep on evolving. Don't stop. Uh, the second thing is keep on pushing. Because there's no limitations. Now, the third thing God gave was uh, get so you can give. Now, let me explain that. Praise God. Acts 3. In Acts 3, the man at the gate, beautiful, the lame man, he's hoping to get some money. And he sees Peter and John. Yeah, he's reaching out his hand. And Peter says, silver and gold, I have none. I have no money to give you. But what I got, I can give you. I got something. And that's something I can give to you. Praise God. What did he have? He had power from God. <laughs> Shut that. So look at, look at what uh, 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 Peter did. He said in the, uh, Acts 3, 6, silver and gold I have none, but such as I have, I give thee. So it just said, what I have, I give you. And the man received it, and then uh, Peter said, that, now, rise up and walk. So Peter didn't pray for him, oh, Lord, help him. It's like, I got something from God. My uh, commission now is to give it. And this is what God is saying. A lot of things he can do sovereignly by himself. And sometimes we pray, oh, God, God can heal you. God can heal you. And, but what God now is looking for is he wants to partner with servants and vessels. Uh, what, what am I getting at is God can, God, if God wants it, he can sovereignly heal every sick person in the church by himself. He don't need man to do anything. But what God is doing is he is looking for servants. Seek me, seek me, seek me, seek me, seek me, seek me. And get close to me and I will... Uh, uh, download power to you. And the closer you get to me, the more uh, power I can download to you. And then once you get that, you go out and use it and put use it on others and heal them. So, of course, it's my power in you, but it's you seeking me to get more and more power. The more you seek me, the more you have, the more you have, the more you can give. So this is what God is wanting to do. So uh, uh, with, with, with Peter, it's like, I, 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 I sought God. I got something I can give to this man. Praise God. Praise God. And look at Acts 4.13. When they were uh, uh, standing up to the religious uh, big shots, uh, Acts 4.13. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John perceived they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them, they had been with Jesus. They had been with Jesus. So this is what God is saying: is that uh, uh, this is the time for the chiefs to arise. Uh, get, get in the closet. Get close. Seek me to get more. Then the more you get, 
the more you can give. I will use you. I will use you. I will. Hurabashaka. Hallelujah. And this is what God is saying. I want to use. I want to use. Whoever will come to me, seek me, draw nigh to me, I will use you. But I'm looking for people to draw nigh to me so I can fill them and fill them and fill them and give them more and more and they will have more and more to give and bless others and change society. Wow. Praise God. So this is a, a, a lesson. Get so you can give. Get in the closet and receive from God. So you have more and you can give to others. Praise God. Praise God. Look, you know, I got to explain Psalm 91. Psalm 91, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now, many people quote that, but what does it really mean? And also, you can quote it, but are you living it? Well, here's what it means. He that dwells in the secret place, that means get, seek God, seek God, get in the closet, Get shut in with God, and that person shall abide, shall live under the shadow of the Almighty. What, is, what does the shadow of the Almighty mean? Luke one thirty five. Luke one thirty five. when Gabriel came to Mary, he said, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. So the shadow of the Almighty Gabriel was saying, the when that happens, the power of the Almighty, the power of the highest shall descend upon you. Wow. So Mary was carrying in her bosom the power of the highest, and that was nurturing the seed, the holy seed called Jesus in her womb. Praise God the Lord. Praise the Lord. So what, is, what God is saying is that, yeah, get in the secret place, but the, the point of that is uh, to come under the shadow, the power of the highest. So you get in the secret place to get filled with the power of the most high God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And then you can be like Peter and John. I don't have silver and gold, but I got something else. <laughs> Shaka. Yeah. The power of God. How did I get it? Not with money, but with sweat, with knee power, with getting into the closet, closing the door. It's time for the chiefs to arise. You know, God speaking to me. It's like, wow, what I called you for. I want you to come forth and in the full of that destiny. Praise God. Praise God. Well, I'll, I'll get a little more into this. Uh, well, another thing is uh, God wants us to uh, uh, get deliverance from low self-esteem. Low self-esteem. Get a breakthrough. See, God has called everyone has something special from God. Ephesians 4, 7 uh, but unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. And another translation says, unto every one of us is given a special gift according to the generosity of Christ. And here, unto every one of us is given grace. The word grace, uh, charis, uh, that's like the word charismatic. If you look it up, uh, the, in the Greek it's charis, and it means favor, benefit, or gift. Wow. So every one of us has a, God has made everyone with a special gift in him. And if you don't believe me, look at Colossians 1, 27. You know, you'll say, maybe Benny Hinn, but not me. You know, not me, little old me. Colossians 1, 27, uh, the, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of the mystery among Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. So Christ in you is the hope of glory. He brings glory. Everyone that's saved, they receive Christ. There's glory, a seed of glory in them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
So, you know, <laughs> when I first got saved, you know, it was a saying, God don't make junk. God don't make junk. I ain't junk. And the same token, God don't make mediocre. God makes glorious. Every one of his people is glorious in one respect or another. And so what God is saying is, you know, seek God, seek God, seek God. Break out of this uh, low self-esteem. Seek God for your destiny. Seek God your glorious destiny. You ain't junk. <laughs> you are not junk. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Look. Another thing. There's so much God was revealing to me yesterday, today, this morning. God is moving in quantum speed. You know, you study physics, quantum speed, you know, it's like you do something and before, and there's some experiments, before they've even done it, the thing is already answered. It's like, whoa, before we even press the button, that electron is already over there. What? Quantum, well, what is this? But science is finding this out. They are, they are still trying to understand what, this is quantum physics, what? No, how, it's like so, far beyond what the mind can comprehend, but science is catching up to God. You want to know about quantum speed of God? Go to Isaiah 65, 24. Isaiah 60, oh, shaka. I'm telling you, this is a prophetic sermon. <laughs> and Isaiah 65, 24, and it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. What? Before you even pray, God's already answering because he already knows what you're going to pray. <laughs> wow, wow. Before I even pray, God is sending the answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. They haven't even finished uh, uh, speaking their prayer. God says, I hear it, I hear it, I hear it. <laughs> Shaka. That's the quantum speed of God. Wow. And God is moving in these days in quantum speed now. Hallelujah. Look when Jesus came. You know, here's the thing. We have, I mean, we have, we hear so many Christians for years. They're still groping. It's like, uh, I want to know what is my destiny? What has God called me for? Give me a prophecy. You're a prophet. Tell me, what has God called me for? And it's like, years. How long have you been saved? Six years, eight years. Now there's courses, uh, several months uh, will help you get to know your destiny. It's like, wow, wow. Jesus, look at Jesus. When he saw Peter, it's like, boom. As soon as he saw Peter, you read John 1. Simon, your name is Simon. You're the son of Jonah. <laughs> but you shall be called Cephas. You shall be called Cephas, which means stone, a stone to strengthen your brothers. Hallelujah. Praise God. So right off the bat, Jesus told Peter his destiny. Didn't beat around the bush. He didn't say, stay with me, you know, for a number of years and you'll know what you're called. Right away, you are called to be strong. You are called to make your brother strong. Wow. Praise God. And this is the thing. God is moving in quantum speed. This is his desire. We got to uh, 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 hook up with God, get in harmony with God. You know, when I first got saved, I got the Holy Ghost. Uh, wow, I was in the New Age for seven years. You know, wow, whoa, that's another story. But when I got the Holy Ghost, the, I got the Holy Ghost in my own house. The next day, I went to church and, uh, whoa, after the service, uh, I went to the prayer room and I was praying in tongues for, for five hours. And during that time, God spoke, not just spoke, gave me a vision of what he was calling me to do. It's like, whoa, right then, the very next day after I got the baptism of the Holy Ghost. But the point was, uh, I got in the spirit for five hours praying. And the spirit 
began to reveal to me. And this is the thing with chiefs arise. It's time for the strong to get stronger. It's time for us to speak messages that will help the strong, those called to be stronger, to get stronger. So, you know, uh, we got to speak words like uh, the, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. You know, pray without ceasing. Man ought always to pray and not to faint. When he returns, will he find importunity? You know, <laughs> so this is the thing, you know, I, I'm telling you, I prayed in tongues five hours. And many times people don't want me to say that, oh, no, 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 you'll scare, you know, wishy-washy Christians. You'll scare Christians who want the easy way out. No, no, it's time we just tell them what is necessary. Those that want to be strong, want to do glorious things in God. So this is the thing. God's desire is quantum speed. Yeah, we ain't got time for you to uh, meander around for six, seven years before you know your destiny. Wow, hallelujah. Here's another thing. Let's go to Daniel 10. Daniel 10. This was when Daniel was seeking an answer from God. And uh, Daniel 10 verse 12. Then the angel Gabriel came to him and spoke to him. Then said he to me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten yourself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. So this is the thing. This is quantum speed. The very first day you prayed, boom, God was sending the answer. Just like that. No, you know, three, four, five years. Not even three weeks. The very first day. But look at 13. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. What, what, what is that saying? So Gabriel was saying, I had the answer. I was bringing it to you. But demonic interference. Wow! Demonic interference, and there was a tug of war for 21 days. Then finally the breakthrough came, and I'm able to get that message to you. What, what, now, what is this saying? This, for our everyday lives, many times God is moving. And like I say, his desire is quantum speed now, because these are the end of the times. But if there's demonic strongholds over your life, demonic bondages over your life, they will block your ability to hear God's messages. They will, uh, they will block your ability to, to hear what God is saying to you. Wow. So God wants to move and he is moving, but the hindrance is within you because of these demonic bondages that haven't been broken. And that's why God has been stirring me up. Chiefs arise, chiefs arise. Donald Lee, it's your time to arise. You're called to be strong and to make people strong. Come, come, arise. And, and it's like God saying, you've got to get stronger. You ba 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 shakata ba see Hallelujah. You got to get stronger. Keep on pushing. Don't be content because strength for my people is necessary, but I could do that sovereignly, says God, but I'm looking for servants to get close to me, then I'll fill them with more strength, and then with that filling of strength, they can strengthen others. This is how God is working. So God is saying people need strength to break demonic bondages. Wow, so much I have uh, sent to them, so many messages, but they haven't been able to receive it. Demonic bondages uh, 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 blocking out the word of God, perception of the word of God. Wow, wow. So this is the, the need for uh, uh, power and strength. You know, wow. Praise God. Praise God. You know, there's this scripture, uh, James 4, 2. You have not because you ask not. And, and God uh, spoke to me this morning. 
You have not because you pray not. Wow, wow. You know, you know, we can say, oh, Philippians 4.13, uh, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I believe it. I have faith. I have faith. I, I, I have faith. By faith, I believe I'm strong. But James says uh, faith often is not enough. Faith without works is dead. So, you know, you got two, let's say there's two guys. They both believe they are strong. But num number A says, I'm strong. And he goes into the gym and works out every day. And B says, I'm, I believe I'm strong. And he watches television every day. <laughs> when the neighborhood bully, bully comes around, who's able to knock him out? It's the guy who is working in the gym, who's developed his muscles. The other guy, he believes he's strong, but he hasn't developed anything. He just believes I'm strong. <laughs> oh, my. So here's the thing. You know, yeah, I believe I could do all things through Christ. But, hey, I get in the closet. I pray every day. I get in the spirit every day. I get downloads of the spirit every day. <laughs> you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the thing is, uh, get in the closet. Yes. And, you know, God, seek God. He will reveal your destiny. And this is what God said to me. You know, pray in tongues, but don't just pray aimlessly. Pray in tongues with John 16, 13. Spirit of truth, spirit of truth, come, come, come. Reveal the truth about me because the heart is deceitful, wickedly desperate. Speak to me the truth about me. What am I called for? What am I called for? What are my chief gifts? What am I best at? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Reveal to me my destiny. So, it's like, seek God. Pray in tongues, but seek God with the uh, desire to know truth. Truth. Give me truth on the inward parts. I don't want to be uh, meandering through my life in confusion and darkness. I want to know exactly what I'm called to do. Hallelujah. And another thing, uh, what God spoke to me, wow, wow. It's not even, you know, especially for me. He's, you know, I told you several weeks ago, God said, for me, this new year will be a year of increase if, if I obey God. 100% I will increase in every area of my life. But God wasn't saying this is for everyone. Everyone will increase. No, he spoke to me. said, if you obey me. So I know what I got to do. But here's the thing. Increase, increase. Uh, Lord, help me. So God was speaking to me again about uh, laws of increase. Uh, you need to get stronger, my son, because uh, people need strength, and I want to fill my servants, uh, with my apost chiefs, uh, apostolic chiefs, with more strength. They can give out more strength. Uh, I can fill them with more strength, and they can give out more strength. And here's the thing God s spoke to me. You, how are you going to get strong? Of course, you got to know the word, know the word, get the word in, 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 inside uh, in the inward parts, but God spoke to me. He said, it's not just memorization. Memorization and, you don't stop there, Man memorization and manifestation. Wow, that is a big key. Memorization and manifestation. Now, I'll give you an example of um, 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 Pro uh, Proverbs 2, 10, and 11. You know, when wisdom enters into your heart and knowledge is pleasant, pleasing, delicious to your soul, then uh, discernment, discre you know, dis discretion or discernment, uh, you will be able to discern between uh, truth and deception, between truth and lies, you know. So God said that's a, you love that scripture. It's a wonderful scripture. But then God said that's not enough to memorize it. You pray for manifestation. God, m manifest this to me. Make, uh, help me, help me. Uh, make wisdom get into my heart deeper and deeper. Make knowledge delicious to my soul. My soul will love knowledge more and more than what I do now. 
So this was what God was saying. Memorize, but go for manifestation. So as you memorize, you pray, God, do this for me. Do this for me. Do this for me. I love this scripture, but I need help for it to manifest in my life. Oh, praise God. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, praise God. I think I've uh, c covered uh, <laughs> basically <laughs> what God was uh, revealing to me about this uh, uh, the Super Bowl victory, what it means. Apostolic chiefs arise, arise. These are, you know, these are the things I've, I've got to do, and this is what I'm releasing. I, I, I pray you catch hold of this, catch hold of, of this and run with it. Because God wants to, you know, God don't give gifts just to have them lie dormant. But he wants you to develop them, work them, work them, work them. You know, uh, Proverbs 28, 19 says, uh, He that tills his soil, his land, will have much bread. Work your gifts. Work your gifts. Well, you know, you're called to be strong. Work it to get stronger. You're called to sing in the choir. Uh, perfect it to sing better. You know, whatever. It's like, wow, work this thing. You know, love yourself. You know, that's why we pray in the Spirit and we seek God. God, seek God, spirit of truth, spirit of truth, reveal the truth to me so I can uh, break through low self-esteem and love myself uh, as the spirit reveals what uh, a wonderful gift God has put in me. I, uh, wow, I love myself for that. God, I ain't junk. Wow, wow. And so now I want to develop it. I want to develop it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So he that tills his, works his land will have much bread. You know, it'll be much prosperity. There'll be much fruit. So, Lord, I, I'm called to be this or that. I want to work it. I want to, I'm going to work it. I'm going to work it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord. I think I've said a mouthful today. <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. Well, I'm a little, uh, wow. Well, praise God. I'm going to call my wife. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Shut up. God bless you all. Let this be the time for the apostolic chiefs to arise. Everyone that has something special, and everyone does have something special. Amen. Let Amen. them rise forth so they can bless the church and bless the world and bring forth a billion soul harvest. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen, here's the thing. I'm, uh, 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 next Sunday is a special Sunday. Uh, 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 you know, uh, <laughs> it's a milestone. It's three quarters of a hundred. What is three quarters of a hundred? It's 75. <laughs> so it's my 75th milestone next Sunday and uh, it's uh, uh, it's a special time because God is just boom it's like uncovering things that haven't been uh, uh, seen clearly in my soul it's like wow I, I, I get it I get it I get it and so this week uh, I'm gonna be praying special if you I'm gonna be praying special especially about chiefs arise if you want me to intercede for you you just write to me, and we have to use my, my, my email because the website is, the other thing is, wow, I'm getting so much junk email. But you write to me, uh, well, I'll let my wife come, and she can decide what to do with that. <laughs> but write to me, I will include you on my prayer list this week. I'm going into special prayer about this Chiefs Arise, uh, those that have something that needs to be brought forth and manifested and polished and perfected. Praise God. Praise God. Because the Lord perfects that which concerneth me. Praise God. Praise God. God is in the perfecting business, in the polishing business. So I want to partner with him this week. I'm going to cry out for myself too, for my wife. Hallelujah for my family. Oh God, we haven't arrived yet. We got to get further in you. Got to keep pushing. Help me, Holy Spirit. Help me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, praise God.
I think I've said enough. Call my wife. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the people. Bless the people. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Thank you, Lord, for this message. Yes, it's time, it's time, it's time. What I was getting from all that Pastor Lee said, hi. All I was getting from what Pastor Lee said today, it's time for us to get into action. Amen, we've been sitting around too long now. Amen, it's time for action. It's time to get out there and do what God has called us to do. Pull up our courage, be strong and have a good courage. The same thing he said to Joshua. It's like Moses is dead. Moses is dead. Now let's move on, Joshua. Amen. You've got to take the people to the promised land. Amen. I have ordained for you. You've got a promised land to enter in. You've got a destiny that the Lord has purposed. Amen. Amen. On your behalf. And it's Amen. time to get up. It's time to rise up. Hallelujah. No more lying down. No more seeking that somebody else do it on your behalf, on our behalf. And I'm speaking to myself too. Hallelujah. It's time to pray. It's Amen. time to pray. It's time to pray like never before. It's time to read God's word and speak God's word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 It's time to study, to show Amen. ourselves approved. A watchman. Hallelujah. A watch person. Hallelujah, of rightly dividing the word of God. It's time, it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. Work the talents that God has given Amen. us. Amen. Work it, work it, work it. I heard it all. I heard it all today. Get rid of fear. Put aside fear. God has not given that spirit. Amen. Amen. Love, power, and a sound mind. It's Amen. time to get into that. It's time, it's time, it's time. Hallelujah and I, hallelujah and I was I was even more uh, uh, um, uh, confirmed in that this morning as I was looking uh, at a video that somebody sent me about this um, the sickness in in China and how uh, the Christians are rising up in the middle and going out into the streets going out into the places you know where there is that sickness. Whether they get it or not, they're not concerned about it. The time is to tell the people about the Lord. And that's all their priority is about. Amen. Amen. If I've come here for just this time, even though I get the sickness or not, it's to, to tell the people that God loves them. It's time to turn to the Lord. They are willing to do that. Amen. They're giving out those masks and just preaching to the people and turning the people's hearts to the Lord in this time of it. Let's not wait for a time like that. Amen? Let's not wait for a time like that. Go for it now. It's time, it's time, it's time to get into action. It's time to put aside our, our own busyness and our That's own um, efforts, doing things for ourselves, doing Amen. things for our family, putting aside money for other things. Put a, get, get, God, get your money into God's business now. It's Amen. time, it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. Amen. Hallelujah. Set, put your treasures in the things that really, really, Amen. really matter now. Amen. And let's get on about our Father's business. Amen. It's time, it's time, it's time. It's time, it's time. And chiefs, arise. Amen. You are a chief. Arise, arise. Amen. Christ in us, the hope of glory. It's time, it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. Amen? No more excuses. Amen. No more excuses. Amen? Hallelujah. So you can write to Pastor Lee at ask, A-S-K, ask dot Donald Lee at gmail dot com. Ask dot Donald Lee at gmail dot com. You can write to him there if you want. You would like him to pray for you. And, um... So you can get information from here. God bless you now. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. Shine, shine, shine and activate, activate, activate. Amen. All the gifts and talents that he has put in, into us. Amen. Amen. Shine upon us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, lift up your countenance upon us and give us your shalom Amen. in this hour, Lord God. Hallelujah. Let fear fall. Hallelujah. Let busyness fall. Amen. Let everything fall to the ground, Lord God. Let us stamp on this, on these things that are not of you, Lord God, Amen. and move forward into your perfect will. Father, I bless your people now in Jesus' mighty Amen. name. 
Have a good Sunday and have a good week. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us apply ourselves to God's will now. Amen. God's purpose and God's destiny in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.